hey guys welcome or welcome back to another video so in today's video like you've already seen from the title and the thumbnail we are making another crochet project so for this project we are actually making the skirt that i have on um i love love the way it came out i wanted to make this um a mixture of two colors but along the way i decided to do just one so i can actually wear this with a different top because I wanted to make this a set, which I am going to do. I'm definitely going to make a top that I can actually um, wear with this. So it becomes a set. But again, I just wanted to make something that I can actually wear with other tops as well. Not just a set. Not just as a set. Just something I can wear often, basically. I love the way I did make this and the way it came out. As you can see, I'm obsessed and I've, I love the reactions you guys have been giving it so far. Thank you so much. So the skirt is basically worked in four panels. So you have the front panel, you have the two sides, one, and then another one on the opposite side and also the back panel, which is just the basic same panel as the center front panel. So it's worked into different, four different panels, but the front and the back, the two center panels are the same and the two side panels are the same. So basically two panels, you're just going to repeat that twice so you can get your size. I did go ahead and add ruffles at the end because that's what I was going for. And also the length was a little bit too short. So along the video, if you know you want to add ruffles at the end, just basically subtract two inches or two and a half inches from your desired skirt length. So at the end, you will have enough space to add your ruffles and your scalp will not be too long if you don't want it to be too long it also has elastic bands so it can actually go from your hips all the way up instead of just like it's easy to wear basically very easy to wear it comes with elastic band as well and it's very free and comfortable you don't have to struggle with walking in it i can actually dance and just do whatever i want to do in this i love 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 the way it came out so for the materials that i used for this project i did use a medium weight yarn i don't have anything left of this yarn because this was a scrap yarn this was an old abandoned project that i had to take out and make this cut because i love the color and i knew i wasn't going to finish the project anyway it's just a basic medium weight yarn and i did use a two millimeter for the entire project so for the four panels and also for the ruffles i sticked to the two millimeter so you would be needing a medium weight yarn two millimeter and you're going to be needing a measurement tape of course because you will be needing few measurements as you can see you're going to be needing this measurement which is basically right i don't know if you guys can see but it's going to be right here and then you're going to need the measurement from here all the way to the back i'll show you guys along the way you would also be needing an elastic I'll show you guys also the elastic that I used for this project. And you would also be needing stitch marker. A stitch marker for this project as well. And a scissors, of course. So that is actually everything you'll be needing for this project. I do not actually have the exact amount that I used for the yarn because, again, this was a project I had to take out. Um, so I don't have the exact, but I think... I'm guessing it should be around 300 grams. It shouldn't be more than three balls of yarn. Um, so, and my size is extra large, medium to large. So this basically can fit a large as well or medium. So if you're making a size smaller, you probably um, need less yarn. And if you're making a size bigger, then you need more. Um, so I'll just suggest you start with the two front panel and then you know what actual, the actual amount that you will need for this project. So, let's not make this intro too long. Let's go right into the video. I am going to leave the list of all the materials that I use down below so you can check them out. And also, if you have any questions, don't feel, forget to drop them down in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please subscribe. And I'm hoping to get to 30k subscribers very soon. So, kindly, kindly subscribe. And give me a big thumbs up as well so i'll know you guys enjoy and like videos like this and it would also help my channel to grow and i'm looking forward to seeing the pictures of you guys recreating this and if you do recreate it of course don't forget to tag me on instagram at me and crochet i would definitely 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 love to see you guys um recreate this in your own way in your own color in your own style so let's get right into the tutorial guys 
So the skirt is working for different panel. Um, I already have two done because the remaining two is actually a repetition of these two. So right here I have the center panel and then I have the side panel complete. So again, I'm just going to repeat the center panel once more and then I'm going to repeat the side panel once more, which I'll show you guys how I got that done. So as you can see, this is how it looks at the moment. And this is the side panel, like I said earlier. So again, for the panel, depending on the skirt, the length you're going for with your skirt, you're just going to go ahead and take your desired skirt measurement, which is from where you want yours to be to start all the way to where you want yours to end. So I want mine to be eye wasted and I want it to end right below my butt area, right under my butt area. So as you can see, this panel is currently 15 inches. I am I've, I am going to go ahead and add ruffles at the end, like you see, you've seen from the thumbnail and from the intro. So the ruffles are actually going to add the length until my desired length. So you're going to go ahead, take the measurement from your desire, from your waist, if you want it to be eye wasted, basically where you want your skirts to actually land, up until where you want your skirts to end. And this is going to be the center. And we are going to repeat another one for the back front center and the back center. And then we have one side and then an opposite side, which we're going to do as well. So to get started, I am going to change 75. And that was what I changed for the actual, the other panel. So again, depending on the size you're making and the length you're going for, you're just going to chain a chain that is as long as the actual length that you're going for your actual skirt so you're basically going to divide two inches from your desired skirt length mine is 17 and then i already did the panel that is 15 that means i'm going to go ahead and add it two inches when i'm working on the ruffles so i'm just going to go ahead and make a slip knot and i'm going to go ahead and chain 75 So after a total of 75 chain, I am going to chain an extra one and right into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to go with my first half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to go with half double crochet, which is yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all through loop on your hook so i'm going to go ahead and repeat one after book crochet up until the very end of this chain and i should have a total of 75 at the end of my chain of my first row sorry so after my first row of after book crochet i am going to go ahead and chain one and turn and from here on i'm just going to repeat another row of after book crochet so i'm going to yarn over but this time around we are going in the back loop so right these are the back loops of the panel of the row sorry so this back loop so we are going to go ahead and do a double crochet in the back loop and not in the normal loop loop so you're going to slightly bend this panel this row and right into this back loop you're going to go with your first half double crochet and you're going to go into the next which is the back loop as well with another half double crochet and i'm basically going to repeat one half double crochet in the back loop up until the very end of the row I have row two complete, so I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same step until I have a total of 33 rows. So again, I'm going to chain one and turn, and right into this first, I'm going to go with the half double crochet in the back loop because we are working in the back loop, 
and I'm going to go ahead into the next with another of double crochet and repeat this up up until the very end of the row so I am making a size medium to large so I am going to go ahead and do 33 rows if you're making a size extra small and small then you can go ahead and do 23 rows instead and if you're making a size bigger um extra large bigger then i'll suggest you make 33 rows um 43 sorry 40 43 rows so you're basically going to add 10 rows on top of the amount of rows that i am doing mine is going to be a medium to large and I'll have all the recommended chains. So I'm basically going to repeat this up until I have a total of 33 rows. And that is going to be about 10 and a half inches. Again, if you're making a size small, then do this up until you have a total of 23 rows. If you're making a size extra large, then do this up until you have a total of 43 rows. And I'll see you guys at the very end. So right here I have this panel complete. So you're gonna repeat this for one more panel because we need two of these. So I already have mine complete. So you're going to need two of this panel and two of the other one. So again, go ahead and repeat the same step, chain the same amount of chain and work your after book crochet until you have the same amount of rows that you are going for. I did a total of 33. And like I mentioned, if you're making a extra small to small 23 is fine. If you're making a size larger, then I would suggest you add 10 more to that amount. So for the next panel, we are going to go ahead and repeat this same exact um, pattern. So the pattern is worked folded, like it's worked in rows, but then it's supposed to be folded because this is going to be the side of the skirt so the other panel is the middle and this is going to be the side and of course we need to side for that um you can also see that i actually increased a bit for the hips around the hip a hips area you can also see that i actually increased a little for the hip areas you can also see that i actually increased a little while working on it for the hips area just so it can actually hug your body and just fit your body perfectly so this is how it's supposed to look and i'm gonna show you guys how i got this done as well so right here again i have my first panel which is a total of 33 rows and when you actually take a measurement please ignore the fact that my measurement tape is like this i cannot find the other measurement tape that i have around so when you take the measurement it's actually 10 and a half inches but again this is a half double crochet worked in the back panel and the back loop sorry so it actually stretches so this is how we are going to go ahead and decide what the other panel is going out why the other panel is going to be because this is going to be the center and the other other panel should come to the side and make up your actual size so again, like you see, this is 10 and a half inches, but it stretches all the way to 14 and even more. Um, what you're going to do in this case is, you're going to take your hips measurement. So mine in my case is 44 inches, and I'm going to divide the 44 inches by two. So 44 divided by two is going to be 22 in my case. So for me on, I'm going to subtract the 14 from the 22 so the 14 inches is going to be this panel which is going to be the center panel so i'm going to subtract 14 from the 22 which is going to give me so 14 subtracted 22 sub minus 14 is basically going to give me eight inches so we we are going to make sure we add the end eight inches on both sides so you're going to divide eight inches by two as well but don't focus on the two divide division of the eight inches because this panel is going to be eight inches the reason why it's going to be eight inches and not four is because it's doubled if we were working on this panel singly for the front panel 
then we would actually work eight inches but because we are working on it double so this is going to be the back and while this is going to be the front we are going to use the eight inches that we just subtracted as well so this is going to be four 14 18 and then the four on the opposite end is going to be 22 which is basically the half of my hips measurement so again i hope you guys understand you're going to check how stretchy this panel is and you're going to subtract that from your hips measurement when it's divided by two because the panel is worked in four but then kind of two so let's see So right here you can see that this is actually this panel is actually eight and a half almost nine inches i did add a few more inches to it just because i don't want it to be um just to make sure i actually can wear my skirt from the bottom all the way up i don't want to wear my skirt from my head down so that's the reason why i added a few more inches but basically this can be eight inches it's fine um you're just going to do the calculations and decide how much yours is supposed to be so again just to remind you all you're going to take this measurement when it's stretched and you're going to subtract the amount from your hips measurement when it's divided and that is going to be this amount of chain that you will need for this particular panel remember you're going to do two of these and two of these which i'll show you how you're going to go about this panel in a bit So to get started with the panel, in my case, I'm going to chain 43 because that's what I did for the other panel. But you're just going to go ahead and chain a chain that is as wide as the measurement you just had when you divided your hips measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and chain my 43 and I'm still using my 2 millimeter right there. I'm still using the same crochet hook. I'm just going to go ahead and chain my chain. So right here I have 43 chains. Again, if you're making a size extra medium to large, then you use the same if you're using a medium weight yarn. If not, just go by the calculations and about the measurements I just told you guys. And again, if you're making a different size, your chain is probably even more or less than mine. So after 43, I'm going to go ahead and chain an extra one. And for me, I'm going to start working my double crochet. So to do that, I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook with my first double crochet yarn over. Insert my crochet hook in the second chain from the hook. Pull through. I have three loops. I'm going to yarn over, pull through all two. I have two more. I'm going to yarn over and pull through the last two. So I'm basically going to repeat one double crochet in every chain up until the very end of the row so for my size and for this particular measurement i should have a total of 43 double crochets at the end of this row so right here i have my first row of double crochet complete and i have a total of 43 so if you are getting started if you're a beginner then i'll suggest you count how many double crochets how many chains you add at the beginning so you can make sure you have the same amount of chain at the end of row one so for row two i'm going to chain one and i'm going to turn and right into this first double crochet i'm going to go with a double crochet into the next with another one and i'm actually just going to continue one double crochet up until the end of this row as well So right here I have two rows of double crochet complete so I am going to go ahead and do this for six more rows and I'm just going to chain one at the beginning start with a double crochet right into the first double crochet all the way to the end chain one at the end at the beginning turn um, just to start off the row and I'm going to repeat this for six more rows so I'll be, I will be back when I have eight rows complete because we are going to start increasing for the hips area So right here I have my 8 rows complete. So from now on we are going to start increasing for the hips area. So the increase is going to take place right at the center of this panel. So it's not going to be on the sides. It's going to be right at the center because again this is going to be at the hip area.
basically this is going to be around your hips area and this is going to be attached to the other panel so what you can do in this case let me check so the eight inches is basically again please ignore my measurement tape i need to go measurement tape shopping so again the eight inches is basically three a little bit after the three inches that so for the increasing we are going to go ahead and fold this panel in two you can actually go ahead and count the stitches as well but i am lazy so i'm going to go ahead and fold my panel in two make sure it's actually laying flat against each other and also this sides actually aligns together perfectly and i am going to take this pin because i cannot find my stitch marker again i need to go i really need to do sh shopping crochet shopping um so making sure this is flat i'm going to take my stitch marker and just mark the center so again up close so you can see right there i'm just going to go ahead and mark this stitch that is actually at the center right there and i'm just going to mark that with a pin so again i'm going to open this you see that uh, it's at the center i can also go ahead and count the stitches but i don't think it's necessary so you can count the stitches if you want to be sure that you're actually at the center so for me on we are going to get started with row nine which is actually the increase row and to do that i'm going to go ahead and chain one and i'm just going to work my first double crochet in this first double crochet like i said we are not increasing on the side we are only going to increase at the center of the panel so i'm going to go ahead and work one double crochet up until the stitch marker that i have at the center so right here i actually have the stitch marker what i'm going to do i'm going to take this off and i'm going to go ahead and do two double crochets right into that same double crochet that i just took the stitch marker off so i'm basically going to go in there with two double crochets and that is going to be the increase pattern for this row and again i'm going to take my stitch marker and i'm going to put that in between the two double crochets that we just did so we did two double crochets and i'm go just going to insert it right in inside between the two double crochets right there and i'm going to repeat one double crochet up until the very end because that's the only increase we're doing for this row so i'm just going to repeat one double crochet up until the very end of the row so now we have row nine complete so to get started with row 10 we are going to chain one and we are going to go ahead and insert a first double crochet in this first double crochet space and we are just going to go ahead and work one double crochet up until the stitch marker because we are going to go ahead and do the second increase for this panel so right here coming i'm actually at this two increase that we did from the previous row so i am going to take off my stitch marker just so i can see what i'm doing and right here i have my two increase double crochet so what i'm going to do for the second set of increase i'm going to go into this first double crochet with two double crochets And I'm going to go into the next with two more double crochets. So we have two double crochets and two double crochets in all into the same two double crochets that we did from the previous row. So that is going to be the second increase for this row for this pattern. So I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm going to put this right at the center between these two set of double crochets just so I make sure I have the center for the next increase. So from here on, I'm just going to go ahead and do one double crochet up until the very end of the row. So this is the end of row 10. So to get started with row 11, we are going to chain one and for this row we are just basically going to do one double crochet in every double crochet from the previous row 
so we are not increasing for this row we are going to go ahead and increase for the next row so i'm basically going to repeat one double crochet up until the very end of this row so when i get to my stitch marker i'm going to take that off and just repeat one double crochet into the every double crochet up until the very end so again um we did use the the exact ips measurement for the entire for the beginning of this panel the reason why we are increasing around the ips area is just to make sure we have um, room for our legs in between the skirts just to make sure it's not too tight so that's the reason why we are doing few increasing because originally we did use the ips measurement for the waist of the skirt which you'll see later on when we have actually assembled all the panels together so i just wanted to come on and let you guys know that they are, um you might have to do more rows just to more increase just to have um a bit of a room in between your legs when you have the skirt on instead of it being your exact hips measurement so now that i'm actually at the stitch marker i'm going to take it off and like i said i'm just going to go right on top of this increase with one double crochet in every double crochet and i'm going to go right with my stitch marker again at the center just to make sure i don't lose the spot of where i did my increasing because we are going to start increasing for the second set so that is row 12 or 11 sorry so again you can see that the increasing is actually shaping this part of the panel so we are going to repeat the same increase pattern which is um one increase at the first row and two increase at the next row so to get started with row 12 i'm going to go ahead and chain one and turn and i'm going to go into this first double crochet with a double crochet and i'm going to repeat one double crochet up until the center where the stitch marker is so coming right at the stitch marker i am going to go ahead and fold this panel just to make sure that the stitch marker is actually still at the center if it's not then i'm going to replace the position but mine is still at the center which is right there when it's folded so it's perfect so you can go ahead and cross check if yours is at the center because there's a possibility that you did put the stitch marker at the wrong place because you want to make sure you keep increasing at the center of the panel because that is going to be your exact hips the side of your hips basically so now that i have make sure my mind is at the center i'm going to go ahead and take off my stitch marker because i'm going to go ahead and increase in that stitch so for the increase like we did we are going to go into this center stitch with two double crochet one two and we are going to take the stitch marker and insert the stitch marker into the center of that two stitch that we just did right there and from here on i'm going to go with one double crochet up until the very end of the row so right here i just finished row 12 and to get started with row 13 we are going to chain one and into the first we are going to go with a double crochet and we are going to work one double crochet up until we get to the stitch marker where we are going to go ahead and increase for the second set of increase so coming right at the stitch marker we are going to take the stitch marker off because we are going to do a second set of increase so right here you can see that we have two double crochets right into the same space so what we are going to do for the increase we are going to go into this next double crochet the first one with two double crochets two and into the next we are going to go with two double crochets all in that same double crochet space so right here you can see we have two double crochets and two double crochets so i'm going to go ahead and take my stitch marker and insert my stitch marker right in between these two set of double crochets right at the center because that is going to help us to know the center for the next increase so from here on i'm going to go ahead and do one double crochet up until the very end of the row 
actually the end of row 13 well let me check 2 4 6 8 10 12 yeah 13 that's the end of row 13 so to get started with row 15 we are going to chain one and this is no this is going to be the no deep increase area because again we did increase for the row 11 and 12 so we are not going to increase for row 13 so i'm going to chain one and insert one double crochet into this first double crochet and one double crochet up until the very end of the row so after row 13 i'm going to in continue to do this increase pattern for two more sets of increase so i'm basically going to do this for two sets i'm going to finish row 13 which is no increase row repeat the increase row for one two rows and then i'm going to do another row of no increase and then another two set of increase row and then i'll come back and show you guys what the next step is so basically i'm going to have a total of four set of increase row which is basically one two and then two more of the increase row so i'm going to get that done and i'll come back and show you guys what the next step is for the pattern so guys right here i have my um rows of increase complete and this is how it looks when it's full dead you can see that this side is actually increasing as we go so i already have my desired increase length um with sorry because again like i said we are just increasing just so we can have a little bit of space around the leg and the tight area just to make sure it's not too tight so i think four set of increase is perfect you don't have to do more so after my four set of increase i am actually at row 19. so i am going to go ahead and do 12 more rows of no increasing basic in double crochet of chain one at the beginning and then i'm going to work my way through the row with double crochet and every double crochet chain one and then i'm going to repeat the same thing for 12 rows so i'm gonna get that done and then i'll come back and show you guys what the next step is because we are going to go ahead and decrease just to give the skirt a bit of shaping at the bottom part so i'm gonna get that done and then i'll see you guys in a bit so right here i have my remaining 12 rows complete with no increasing and no decreasing and this is what my panel looks like at the moment we are now going to go ahead and decrease for two sets remember we did increase for four sets we are going to decrease for two sets just to give the panel a bit of shaping so this can actually form a pencil skirt instead of just a straight one so to do that we are going to again fold the panel into two so we can mark the decrease area and we are basically going to decrease right at the center just the way we did for increasing so with my panel folded you can also count the stitches instead but i'm lazy so i'm gonna fold mine so with the folded side i'm just gonna take my stitch marker and make sure i attach it to the side right there so i know that is going to be where i'm going to decrease so again to get started with the row i'm going to chain one and turn and i'm going to just go ahead and do one double crochet up until i get to the stitch marker where we are going to go ahead and decrease so right here coming right at the stitch marker i'm going to take this off because we are going to decrease that means we are going to go ahead and do two attach these two double crochet together as one double crochet you can as well go ahead and skip this and go into the next but i like to decrease the other way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to yarn over and insert my crochet hook into this next double crochet and i'm pull through so instead of yarning over and pulling through all two the first two loop i'm going to go into the next and right there i'm going to yarn over again and pull through so now i have four loops i'm going to yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the second two and i'm going to yarn over and pull through the last two so right there i have my decrease so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the stitch marker and just attach it right at this decrease just so i know that it's going to be my next decrease area 
so from here on i'm just going to go ahead and do one double crochet up until the very end of the row so right here coming to my decrease area i have one more double crochet before the decrease so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off my stitch marker and i'm going to decrease the one before the decrease together with the decrease stitch so the first decrease i did the stitch with the one after the second one i'm doing the one before and the one and the decrease so i hope you guys understand so i'm basically going to yarn over and decrease this stitch right before the decrease stitch together and right there we have another decrease so i'm going to continue with one double crochet up until the very end of the row so again because we did increase two row and then one row with no increase we are going to repeat the same pattern which is two rows of decrease and one row of no increase and then we are going to go ahead and repeat the decrease row again which is going to be the last set because we are decreasing for two sets and then afterwards you're just going to do double crochet row until you have your desired length or basically until this panel is long enough to go across the other panel because you want to make sure the other panel that we worked is as long as this panel you want them to be at the same length so after your other second set of decrease you're going to basically repeat simple rows of double crochet until you have the exact same length as the other panel so i'm going to get mine done and then i'll come back and show you guys how we can attach both panels together four panels together in my case so if you don't so you're going to repeat the same process for the opposite side of your your skirt and when you have four panels together then you can come back and just so we can attach all the panels together hey guys so right here i have four of my panels complete i have the two center and i have the two side so what i'm going to do from here on i'm going to go ahead and attach these two together so again this side panel has two ends i'm going to attach this end to this panel and i'm going to attach this end to this panel and i'm going to go ahead and do the same on the opposite side i'm just going to do that with single crochet just a basic single crochet and i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like when i have all the panels attached together so you're basically going to put the center panels together like this the two sides panel together and you're going to attach one side of the center panel to one side of the side panel and the opposite end as well and you're going to repeat this until you have all of the four panels together so i'm going to get that done and then i'll come back and show you guys what the next step is here i have one side of the panel the side panel with one side of the middle panel single crochet together and this is what we have going on so now i'm going to grab the other center panel and i'm going to attach it to the other side of the side panel together with single crochets and i'm going to again attach this as well to both sides and at this point i'll come back and show you guys what the actual thing looks like so this is what the seam looks like and this is what it looks like when it's done to the actual good side the right side so i'm gonna get all the panels together and then i'll come back and show you guys again what it actually looks like so guys right here i have all the panels single crochet together and this is how it looks for now um because we did use the hips measurement then of course we need to snatch this waist so it can actually fit around our waist area so that is when we are going to go ahead and use the elastic to make sure we have the waist area to fit our actual waist measurement and also we are going to add some ruffles at the end just to add a little bit of length to the skirt that was what i had in mind but again if you already have yours to your desired length then you don't have to so guys right here i have my elastic so my elastic is 27 inches so i just subtracted three inches for my actual waist measurement so obviously this stretch is so it can actually go around my hips and up to my waist and also it's not too big so it will be able to snatch my waist and fit the the sky will be able to fit my waist perfectly so i have 27 inches um this is the only elastic i have left so i also don't even have 
other options to get a bigger size but this is perfect for my size so i'm just going to go ahead and make a knot because i don't want to sew this together so i'm just going to go ahead and just make a secure knot so what i usually do is i go back and forth so right here i have my elastic you're going to go ahead and identify which side is the upper part of your skirt and which is the lower part and to do that all i did is i looked at the side panel and i do have like a chain you remember we did chain before we start ended the row so the difference between this and this is actually visible because at the end we have no chain and you can basically see the difference so you have to make sure that you're going to attach the elastic to the upper side of your skirt and not the lower side because again you wouldn't want to make that mistake so i'm just going to go ahead and grab my yarn because now we are going to attach the elastic to the skirt and what i usually do for that i just make sure that the elastic is at the back of the skirt or at the side instead of being at the front so you can basically just see how you can go about this but again you can see that elastic is actually um a bit more um smaller than the actual skirt but again this is an elastic and it obviously stretches all the way so you would have to go ahead and stretch it as you go just so to make sure everything balances well so what i i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my hand and i'm going to find the center i'm going to find let's see the center of my back panel or you can just roughly check which this middle panel and see which one is the center it doesn't actually it doesn't have to be the center but i'm going to attach my yarn and then secure a knot so what i'm going to do in this case i'm just going to attach my yarn to the panel and i'm going to secure a knot before i get started so to get started i'm going to take my yarn my crochet hook and i'm going to attach it right at the seam area where i attached my yarn and what i usually do is i just grab my elastic with the three fingers just so i can have control over the, the elastic and the stitch so now i'm going to insert my elastic my crochet hook underneath the elastic and grab the yarn on top of it and i'm just going to pull through again so now i just secure the elastic so from here on we are going to go ahead and just single crochet around the elastic so to do that i'm going to make sure the elastic is a bit inside instead of being outside so right here i'm going to go into this next available space with a single crochet so you're basically going to go into any av available space with one single crochet and you're going to insert your crochet hook right into the stitch make sure it goes underneath the elastic you're going to grab the yarn afterwards pull through and you're going to yarn over and pull through again again you're going to insert your crochet hook into the next stitch which in my case is this one make sure the the actual hook goes underneath the elastic that the elastic is right on top and then you're going to grab the yarn you're going to pull through you're going to yarn over and pull through again so i'm going to repeat this method up until the very end of the row so right here coming to the end of the elastic i'm just going to make sure i go ahead and do my last single crochets in that available space just to make sure i close everything perfectly so i'm just going to go right on top and i usually just go extra just to make sure i seal this knot that i made at the beginning just to make sure it's not visible kind of situation so you're basically going to go ahead and repeat the single crochet until you get to the end so this is how it looks at the end and you can see how the elastic just actually snatches the waist so i'm going to cut off my yarn and i'm going to sew in the loose end around the elastic so because i'm not making this for someone i really don't 
this doesn't bother me so if you're making it for someone then i'll suggest you actually sew the elastic the two sides you can unsew it or you can use a sewing machine instead but because i'm making this for myself it doesn't really matter to me so i'm going to go ahead and just sew in the loose end right there And I'm going to cut off this yarn and this other one. So this is what the skirt looks at the moment. And I am going to add little ruffles at the end just because I want to add the length. So from here on, I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm going to attach it to one side of the panel. So I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm going to attach it to one side. I usually attach it to the side of the panel instead of the front or the back. Just so I know when I get to that side and I have complete one row and I'm going to get started with the other row. So I'm going to make a secure knot. By the way, I'm still using the two millimeter that I've been using for the entire project. So from here on, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet, one single crochet in every single crochet, double, in every space available. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one, and right into this next, I'm going to go with a single crochet, a single crochet, and I'm just basically going to do one single crochet all around the edge of the skirt. So coming to the same area between these two panels, I'm just going to go right into the space with a single crochet. So from here, we do have um, this rib, row, rib panel. So we are just going to again go into every available space with a single crochet because at this point you can't really tell. You're just going to go into any available space with a single crochet. And also I am using a tight tension because I want the edge of the skirt to be a little bit tight just so it can fit around my legs perfectly so I, my tension is actually extra tight while i'm doing this so i'm basically going to go all around with single crochets so coming closer to the single crochet that i started on the side i'm going to go ahead and just slip stitch right into the chain one i did at the beginning and I'm going to chain one and repeat one single crochet in every single crochet that I just did for another one row, for one more row, and then we are going to start working on the increase for the ruffles as well. So I'm just basically going to go all around with one more single crochet all around the entire edge of the skirt. So right here coming to the top, of where i started the row i'm going to go ahead and just again slip stitch right into the chain one just to end off this row so from now on we are actually going to start the ruffles and for that i'm going to chain three and right into this same space i'm going to go with two more double crochet into the next i'm going to go with two double crochets so basically the chain three actually is the same as a double crochet so in this first space i went with two more which basically means three double crochet into the next with two and into the next i'm going to go with three double crochets all in the same space 
and for me i'm going to go into the next with two double crochets and into the next i'm going to go with three so i'm actually just going to switch between two and three double crochets in the spaces until i get to the end of the row but again this is optional you can also go ahead and do two double crochets but i also just like the fact that whenever i do this it just gives me a much fuller um, ruffles instead of just doing two double crochets instead of just two double crochets then i just prefer to do this but again you can do whatever ruffle pattern that you like to do so i'm basically going to repeat this up until i get to the end of this row and so right here coming to the beginning i'm going to go ahead and do my last two double crochet in that space and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the chain three space to end of the row that we did at the beginning right there. So from here on, I'm going to chain three and I'm going to go ahead and do one double crochet in every double crochet. So we are not going to increase or do any ruffles increase at this point. So we are not going to increase at this point. I am basically going to do one double crochet into every double crochet up until the very end and i'm going to slip stitch into the three chain three space and i'm going to continue this for three more rows because i am going to go ahead and do five rows so depending on how long you want yours to be you're going to do the same thing so i'm going to get that done and then i'll come back and show you guys what this one looks like with the ruffles complete so guys this is the final result i am going to go ahead and just cut off all my loose ends and at this point it is complete i was thinking of making a matching top with this so again just stay tuned and then we'll see if i do finally decide to get it done um but i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if, and if you have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comment and i'll definitely make time to answer the questions um and also if you get to make yourself one don't forget to tag me on instagram as well so i'll see the the skirt that you guys will create thank you so much for watching and i guess i'll see you guys in another video